buddy Cody Johnson. Welcome. Well, thank you. How are this you? This is the first time I've actually gotten to bring something. Last time I didn't have anything, remember? I know. Well, actually, you said you were going to leave your shirt, and you didn't, so I was real disappointed. Well, I don't know if, how I could get through Houston with my shirt off without <laughs> getting pulled over. <laughs> Somebody, but as hot as it's been, uh, well, it might be okay. It might be an option today. It's exactly. 102. <laughs> well, recently, you were out on Kevin Fowler's ranch riding and shooting stuff, and yeah. how was that? It was fun. You know, I, I get to write with Trent Wilman a lot, which is Trent and I write a lot alike, I guess. We, mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're in each other's heads, but Fowler is a lot like me. We have a lot in common as far as our personalities. So I think it was about 12 or 30 beers we went through. Or on a, <laughs> Lost on count. Video. Yeah, <laughs> shot some guns and chased some hogs. But, I mean, we came out with a great song. and It was a, it was neat. I, I told him at breakfast the next morning that, you couldn't have told me two years ago that I would get the opportunity to go write with guys like that that were pioneers in this business and, and made Texas music what it is. And yeah. It's just really cool. That's cool. And you get great relationships. I mean, these all these guys who have been doing it, you learn from them, but you get to hang out with them too, and that's, that adds to it, I think. Well, they, they all, they've all made the mistakes that they don't want to see somebody that they like or they, you know, they want to help out make those same mistakes. So. Thank God they screwed up a little bit. <laughs> they want to pass a ton of it down. Exactly. Well, that's awesome. Well, you were telling me off camera that your dad recently retired and is going out on the road with you. Yeah, and I'm not sure uh, how this is going to work because you know, my dad played bass for me in the very beginning. Uh -huh. uh, it was just my, my drummer, myself, and my dad playing bass. And uh, when my grandfather passed away, he went back to work and just consumed himself in work. And now that he's off, I'm afraid that uh, he, he's he's See now early. <laughs> okay. Say, hey, he's he's a young fifty and he's crazy and I'm I'm pretty sure he's gonna get in more trouble than I do. Uh oh. So we'll see how this goes. But I'm, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm really excited to have him on the road. Well, that'll be fun. You'll have to tell some stories from the road later on. You can come back and Off maybe camera. tell the ones. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe so. <laughs> well, your single "Guilty as Can Be" is really shooting up the chart. Um, and it came out of the box like really, really fast. Yeah. And I was just like, wow. I mean, it's a great song, so it makes sense. But it's also a little controversial. There yeah. are some people that are having a hard time playing it because of the storyline. Um, why don't you talk about it and tell people who may not have heard it yet? Well, I, you know, I, I worked for the state of Texas as a prison guard for six years, and, and everybody was always on me, write a prison song, write a prison song. And, I didn't want to write about a lot of the stuff that I saw or was involved in or her story, first-hand story. So I just kind of took a culmination of everything that I heard and put it together in this little story for this song. And I've had people tell me it's too violent. They won't play it. And I'm like, well, y'all ever heard the night the lights went out in Georgia, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or what is it, gunpowder and lead? But yeah. There's always going to be those people that don't, won't play it. I yeah. Mean, but the storyline to me is just as true. I mean, that, that, that problem has probably been in the majority of the people who are incarcerated in Texas. It's happened. Yeah. You know, and so it, I just thought it was a little bit different twist. I, I'm a very gritty kind of a Waylon influence guy, mm -hmm. and that song's the first song that I've released in the Texas Music Charts that I wrote 100% myself. Right. It's not a co-write, so I felt like that was more me. And, and that, was the, that, was the, that was the reaction that I, I like the most that I've gotten, which is a big reaction, was we love the gritty, kind of outlawish, and I'm like, yeah, that's good, you know? I don't want everybody to perceive me as because I do have a little bit of a wild side that's, you know, I keep tamed a lot. <laughs> but I like to be able to pour that out through my music and make somebody go, man, that's kind of that's kind of edgy. Yeah, know? yeah. Well, and when I listened to it, the first thing that I that came to mind was, this is a country life song. Yeah. This stuff happens. Yeah. I mean, you can't deny it. So, um... What is it, Casey Donahue's White Trash, uh... Yeah. You know what I'm doing? Yeah. It, it, the, I can't, of course, you asked me that, now I can't think of it. I, I was singing it today. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, stories that people can relate to that, that are real life stories, not the not the white collar, oh my Lexus broke down type thing. And no offense to anybody, but I mean the, the kind of the people that that don't get songs written about them very often. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Well, it's a great song, and like I said, people need to listen to it. It's called Guilty as Can Be, and you can find it on a different on day. A different day. That's right. Where you can pick up where. You can pick it up at our website, which is uh, thecodyjohnsonband.com. Uh, it's also on Amazon, iTunes. Uh, you can pick it up at any show. And if you go to our website, you can digitally download it, or we will mail you a hard copy. I'm still doing the uh, packaging and all that That's stuff. That's right. Just it off, and my bass player has tried to take the load off of me, but 
the life of a rock star right here. Yeah, right? <laughs> still got to do the yourself. dishes, still got to do all that stuff. Exactly. Well, thank you for coming to the corner. I appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me. And you'll have to come back? I will be. All right. You heard it here. <laughs> well, then, Mr. I'm as guilty as can be. Yeah, go ahead and lock me up, boy. I'm guilty anyway.